Outdoor Adventures is sponsored by Burris Optics and the Eliminator Laser Scope, Stormcloth 2 Performance Outerwear, Corbon DPX Ammunition, Kershaw Knives, the new Bresser 360 Trail Camera, Steiner Binoculars, Outdoor Trail Freeze Dried Foods, Montana Decoy Company, CVA Muzzle Loaders, and UDAP Bear Pepper Spray. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. This week we're traveling to Northwest Territories in search of the Central Canadian Barren Ground Caribou, specifically the bulls of the Bathurst Caribou Herd. Now there's about 400,000 caribou in the Bathurst Herd, and they've got some of the best trophy hunting in all of Canada. Uh, a lot of folks think of Alaska and Quebec as the top caribou hunting destinations. Not true. Right now, Northwest Territories ranks right up there as probably one of the very finest caribou hunting destinations in all of North America. This week, I'm hunting for myself personally, and I've got some of my very good friends and clients with me. I was fortunate enough to be able to go into the field and not only hunt with them, but also film their hunts. It was pretty memorable. Let's go to Canada now. Uh, we flew into Yellowknife, Northwest Territories, and then took an otter float plane right out to the camp. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take you there now. I think there's some exciting caribou hunting action that you don't want to miss. Caribou hunting in the Northwest Territory is a true adventure from the very start. From the float plane ride to the crossing of huge expanses of water by boat and by foot, the action is non-stop. We'll join Steve's Outdoor Adventures client, Craig Stafford, on his very first caribou hunt. We'll also join Steve's Outdoor Adventures owner, Steve West, on his quest for the trophy bulls of the Northwest Territory. And finally, we'll tag along with Steve and John Campo as he takes his first trophy caribou on another exciting episode of Steve's Outdoor Adventures. What we're gonna to do today now is uh, we'll go up the hill, be looking around. Um, we'll find a spot up here and we'll be looking around for a caribou and hopefully a wolverine, wolf. Um, yeah, we'll just go up here, maybe glass, looking for caribou. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are we going to do today, I guess? Just glass until we find something worth yeah. going after. Yeah. All right, George. Well, let's get after it. So, that, so we'll, go, we'll, go, go? Uh, we'll go that way. It's, okay. It's, uh, right oh, right up here. through the trail? Yeah. Oh, I saw we got a trail right through here. Much of the day on a caribou hunt in the Northwest Territory is spent hiking and glassing in search of trophy bulls. All right, we just spotted a, a bunch of caribou coming around the lake. And George has figured out exactly what we got to do. Clarify this. What are we going to do, George? Okay, we're going to um, go around this uh, esker here. We'll be going around right on there and get up on one of those hills over there. And then to see if we can get close enough for a big bull. Looks like he's going that way. Yeah. All right, let's give this a whirl. After you, sir. There's the grizz trout right there. I see. Mm-hmm. Everybody said there were a few grizzlies around. Facing a caribou. <laughs> grizzlies and caribou. Only if you get a grizz for me. Double film Craig dropping this big bull. Maybe two. <laughs> it doesn't get any more fun than this. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get much more fun. <laughs> Are we good? Get your hands on. Here, go, go, you're good. Mm -hmm. 
Steve, Craig, and their guide George Konana spot a huge bull and sneak to the top of the ridge to get into position to take a shot. Craig steadies his aim and prepares to squeeze the trigger. Hey man, you just killed your first caribou. How do you like that, huh? How do you like that? Thanks, man. Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. When we return, we'll take a closer look at Craig's trophy bull in the Northwest Territory. Lungs. I can't see where the shot is. It's on the other side, it never came out. He's laying on the, on the entrance. Boy, look at those nice points. I mean, he's got, that's why I was looking at, was points and main beams. He's got the points and main beams. He's got kicker on one side. Awesome. Awesome, buddy. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do you think of that? Beautiful, man. <laughs> Very nice. What an adventure this day's been. We started out glassing long, saw some caribou, moved over, saw him again, spotted this bull in particular, came down and crossed a body of water. Some people took water up to here. Those of us that are a little taller took it up to about here. <laughs> Got over the top and sure enough, there was a pile of caribou in here. Caribou everywhere. Completed the stock up there. Made a great, great shot. Uh, hard to wait to get on this other caribou. Craig's rifle shooting a little bit high. We just made an adjustment in it. Um, what do you think, Craig? Should we get this thing mopped up and get it packed back to the boat and go look for that other big one? Because that other big one had bigger fronts, but this one's got the tops that everybody wishes they could get. Sounds like a plan. All right. Hey, what do you say? Fantastic. First caribou. Awesome. All right, let's get him cleaned up. Now let's join Steve on his hunt the following morning. Today, because we located where the, the caribou were at, we had a cold front moving through. It's moving through from the north, which means that the caribou are going to be on the move. We came back to the area where we ended our hunt yesterday. It's, uh, it's looking up. Craig's up on top with George. They took off immediately to get up to a vantage point and start spotting caribou up in the canyon. We're going to go ahead and move up there and join them now, see if we can't get Craig his second bull, or maybe I'll find a good one. It just looks to be a great day to start hunting caribou. Let's get on up the hill and see if we can't locate some more more big bulls. Yesterday was incredible. Once again, the hunters set out in search of caribou. They've got to be back up that canyon. Not really a canyon, but that, that waterway where we left them yesterday. Well, we came back up the hill this morning and uh, we're glassing back toward where we were yesterday. And we're pretty, pretty confident the caribou are gonna be back up this other waterway again. There's a vantage point about a half mile from here we're gonna hike up to and, and get on top of. I'm sure we'll find the big herds back up there again. But the wind is really blowing. It's really cold. The animals are moving. We know they're moving. And uh, I think it's just a matter of us getting into the right place and getting comfortable and, and locating some caribou. We probably ought to get started because the day's not getting any longer. After a few hours of searching, Steve and his guide find what they're looking for. There's a bunch of bulls, a whole bunch of bulls, right on the other side of these rocks. 50, 60 yards, they can't hear us in the wind. We gotta get up to this rock, about 40 yards, and we're gonna have them point blank range. Point blank. As you can tell, these bulls are close, and Steve carefully checks them out for trophy quality.
A big bull moving in from the right catches Steve's attention and he prepares to shoot. yesterday, I was pretty eager to get with the business today. <laughs> This has just been one heck of a hunt. Traveled here to Northwest Territories to hunt with a good friend of mine, Lloyd Warner, that owns Adventure Northwest. We booked some hunters for him. Um, caribou hunting here is just exceptional. I chose to come kind of in the latter part, the 20th through the 27th of August, because not only are the caribou really good eating, but they're not really migrating, they're just here. And you don't have to be worried about a migration in order to find some caribou. Welcome back to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. Let's join Steve West and his client John Campo glassing for caribou. We've been waiting for this bunch of caribou bulls, this bachelor bunch to pop up on the skyline. It looks like they're making their way down to the water here in front of us. We're set up in a natural funnel. I don't know if they're gonna swim across it, but they're within rifle range about 600 yards up on top there. So we can, we're gonna wait and see what we've got. There's a couple of real good bulls in this bunch. Real good bulls. And Jake needs a good one. That would be nice. Don't worry, Jake. There's a lot more than those bulls in that bunch. Yeah, there were more than that this morning. The hunters decide to move in on the caribou and try to sneak to within a comfortable shooting range. John spots a huge bull with a tall rack and exceptional tops. John steadies his aim and prepares to squeeze. You got, got him. him. You got him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Woo. What are you worried about? Yeah, baby. I gotta go back up and get my rifle. Good shot, man. There's a nice one right Thank there. Thank you. That's a good one. Another one right there. Thank you. Alright. That's a good caribou. Double 
Stay tuned to Steve's Outdoor Adventures. We'll be right back. All right, two down, two to go. Right My client, John Campo, just completed the, the first half of his caribou hunt. He's still got one caribou permit left. Uh, up on top of the ridge, we were all up there, both groups of us glassing, and guide Charlie, he pointed out a really good bull down about two miles across the way. He said, that's a big one, and we're gonna go. And sure enough, we got down here. Rule number one in hunting, trust your guide and his judgment. We moved up on the bull, got to about oh, 75 to 100 yards away from the caribou. Camera and the hunter couldn't quite get lined up at exactly the right second. It was pretty tense. Uh, caribou took off, went around the hill. We went over the top of the hill, cut them off. As they were going across a flat. We were fortunate, this big bull stopped, looked back, gave John a chance. I don't know where the first, first bullet went, but he stopped again and the second one didn't miss. Took him right through the shoulders, anchored him, and this is an awesome, awesome trophy. Long point, long beams, double shovels. John, Jake, I should say. Either way, thank you very much. Well, I don't know what you're gonna do for an encore. They don't get a lot bigger than this. Well, as you know, the first two days I held off, I could have shot a decent bull on both days. You passed a taken... great one just in two hours ago. That's right. Passed, passed a couple of nice ones. I told Steve and Troy that I wanted a real nice one and then I can really trophy hunt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to feed a double shovel trophy like this, but I'm pumped. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Again. Thank you. Take care.